sorry, I'm going to pause because Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, is giving a news conference right now. I will come right back to you. Here's Sadiq Khan. Questions, reasonable questions that demand answers, and in due course, uh, I'll be making sure we get those answers. And what can you say, what kind of work is, um, is the London Council going to do um, uh, to reassure residents over the safety of <coughs> their blocks if they live in sort of tall tower blocks? So there are, there are a number of tower blocks across London and, and other major cities uh, across the country. The responsibility lies with the local authority, the borough, or private management companies, and they need to make sure, of course, that tower blocks uh, are safe. I'll be asking questions raised by the fire last night, uh, the sort of questions that your viewers are asking, the sort of questions that uh, not unreasonably residents are asking, that demand uh, answers. Our focus now has to be, though, on search and uh, rescue. During the early course of the night, our fire service clearly received the first, reached the first uh, 12 blocks. It's a 24-storey tower block. Uh, the good news is some progress has been made to go higher up the uh, building. Uh, the structural experts who are there are saying the building is still currently safe. But our focus now is search and rescue, or they'll, or they'll move to, I'm afraid, recovery. And of course, we've got to make sure in the meantime we provide shelter to those who've had to flee their homes, but also the neighbouring properties affected because of fear of the building collapsing. But of course, there are genuine questions, reasonable questions that uh, residents across the country have live in tower blocks, and we need to make sure they're answered. I know we, you were saying before we have the best fire service, you think, in the country. Um, um, if they, um, the water cannons can only reach up to the 12th floor, is there a, a, you know, a, something to be said for not building tower blocks higher than 12th floor? Well, look, I mean, one of the great things about the response last night was the first fire engine was there in less than six minutes. Uh, and we declared a major incident very early, which meant not only were there additional fire engines, specialist equipment, but also the ambulance service, the police there uh, as well. And there are obviously issues about the, the water from the tower block not being available. That can happen uh, with a, a tower block a fire. But one of the reasons why I say we've got the best fire service in the world is I've seen the practice, the planning, the preparation they do, including for fires in uh, tower blocks. And we'll wait and see uh, how bad this uh, horrific fire uh, is. At the moment, though, our focus has to be on the search and rescue. I'll then move on to the recovery. But of course, uh, many, many people will have uh, legitimate questions that will demand answers. And very finally, we're here for a uh, from a positive reason today. We're here to support the traders for the bar market. Well, there, there are mixed feelings uh, today, of course. We're still remembering all those affected by the horrific terror attack. Uh, 10 days uh, ago, but you know this market's been closed most of it for 10 days now. The independent traders uh, have lost business, they've lost trade, they've lost the produce that, that rotted and went off uh, 10 days uh, ago. They fully reopened uh, today. It's a source uh, of pride to me that Borough Market, the oldest market in the country, has uh, reopened. My message to your viewers is come and shop, come and spend uh, your money here at the Borough Market. You'll leave with great produce. Uh, the traders here will make good business. It's a win-win. What better way to show our resilience and to show the world we're not going to be cowed by terrorists? Thank you, My pleasure. Cheers. Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, at the reopening of Borough Market on the other side of London, uh, suggesting that the focus here in West London uh, needs to be on search and rescue. Uh, we're showing you footage now. These are cur current pictures now of Grenfell Tower, live pictures, uh, which is showing that the building is still alight. As Sadiq Carr was saying, he declared a major incident very quickly. He said we have the best fire service in the world. A lot of people are still unaccounted for, his words, a lot of people. Some of them could have been found safe. Uh, some of them could have been found safe refuge in the homes of their neighbours or friends. But the pictures that we're showing you now, live pictures, showing that parts of the building are still alight. That's nine and a half hours after the fire broke out. Uh, let's continue talking to Michael.